Have you encountered the frustrating 413 request entity too large error while using WordPress? This usually shows up when you're trying to upload, and then WordPress blocks it completely. This error happens when uploading big media files, theme packages, plug-in zip files, or importing large data. Your server, PHP settings, or even your CDN might be enforcing strict limits. And that's exactly why you see the error. But don't worry, because this error is actually one of the easiest WordPress issues to fix once you know what's causing it. And in this video, you'll learn the simple methods to fix the 413 request entity too large error in WordPress. Hey guys, it's James from gigapress.net. To start, one possible cause of this 413 request entity too large error can be caused by incorrect file permissions on your server. To check this, open your server files using an FTP client or through your hosting control panel. Go to the root directory of your website, usually called public underscore HTML. Select all files and folders within the root directory, right click and choose permissions or properties options. This will open a dialog box for modifying permissions. Enter the appropriate permission values, such as 644 or 755, or use the available checkboxes and drop-down menus. After resetting the file permissions, try uploading your file again. If incorrect permissions were the problem, the 413 request entity too large error should be resolved. If the problem continues, your upload size limit is probably too low, so let's increase it using a plugin called WP Code. Go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugins, then click Add Plugin, and search for WP Code. Click Install Now and Activate. Once activated, go to the WP Code dashboard and click on Add Snippet. Choose Add Your Custom Code HTML and paste the following code snippet. Save the changes and check if the issue is resolved. If you prefer modifying server files directly, you can increase the upload file size limit by editing the HT access file in your WordPress root directory. Use your FTP client or your web host's file manager. Then, find the root directory, usually the public underscore HTML file, and then locate the HT access file. Right click and choose Code Editor. Add the following lines to the end of the bottom. Save the changes and refresh your WordPress site to see if the error is resolved. But if you've tried all these methods, but the error still appears, manually upload files via FTP. This approach bypasses the upload limit restrictions set by your server. Use your FTP client like CyberDoc. Then, connect your site. If you don't have an idea of how to connect your site, I made a video about this, so just click the link in the description so you can follow along. Once your site is connected, navigate to the WP-Content folder, then click on the Uploads folder. Here, you need to upload your file directly to this folder. Once uploaded, you can use the WordPress Media Library to access and insert the file into your content. And that's it! Fixing the 413 request entity too large error is simply a matter of adjusting permissions, increasing your upload limits, or uploading files manually whenever needed. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress Masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.